Look who's here rocking his Jalen Hurts yes. gamer. <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, appreciate it. Edison, New Jersey's finest. So you were born there. Is that where you yes, grew up? Yes, I was born there. I was born there. Okay. Look at you, man. It's great to see you it's here. Great to see you. I was just saying um, while we were off the uh, air, I was yeah. saying I'm just so happy to be off the Zooms now with Rich. So yeah, it's pretty cool to be here. I know. We were Zooming together and yeah. now you're physically yes, here. Yes, yes, Do you spend much time in Los Angeles or what? Uh, you know, in the off season, I train here. And okay. actually, Wit, we actually work out at the same gym when he was playing. So I actually got to see him uh, training for his seasons and stuff. Okay. And so it was pretty cool to be able to see him again. So, how many, so anyone else who works out with you has to adjust the seat, I imagine, after you guys. <laughs> <laughs> are done working out. Uh, right? There's I mean, a lot of uh, cool dudes that work out at Proactive. Who um, else is there? You, can drop you know, names. for another Eagles player, Cooper, who just got drafted. Cooper so, DeGene? Yeah. Okay. So super happy to see him in his draft process, and who would have thought he would end up at the Eagles with us? So pretty cool. Uh, Aaron Rodgers and um, a couple other guys, too. That So really Rodgers cool coming back from his Achilles, you, you would yeah. be working out alongside him at some point? In yeah, time? Okay. for a couple years now. So well, it's been cool. cool. And, and, you know, he was coming back from Achilles. I was coming back from my knee for right. playoff, so we got to uh, spend time together rehabbing. I guess you could say. Well, that's cool. Trying to get right. What do you What do you guys talk about? Anything? I mean, just sports or Life, just nothing? Or, he's okay. a very uh, thoughtful guy, so sure. definitely uh, tapping into the wisdom and his uh, his thoughts. I just I love hearing people and the way they think and the way they like comprehend things and be able to adjust to things. And for him to be one of the best NFL players we've ever seen and. See how he's recovering back from his, you know, sure, his uh, surgery and everything. It was really cool to be able to watch like a legend get back to being a legend. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So look who's here. No yeah, zooms. Right. Zooms so, are a thing yes. of the past. No, oh. they're done. The first overall pick of the 2015 NBA draft, four-time All Star from the Minnesota Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns is yeah. here Man. in the studio, and it is great to see you. It's great. And for the radio audience that just rejoined, he is rocking a Jalen Hurts. Philadelphia Eagles <laughs> jersey. Yes. Come and on. <sighs> so, now you are from Edison, New Jersey. Yes. Which I know, being a Staten Islander, okay. is pretty much like right across, you know, yeah, the, the river. way. Yeah, it's right, right, it's it's right there. Right there. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, for sure. You go over probably the outer bridge, mm -hmm. and then you mm -hmm. keep going a little west and you yep. ride to Edison. Yep. Normally, that's Giants country yep. or Jets country. I already know where you're going. You with normally yep. got to go much further south than New Jersey yeah. to find an Eagles enclave. Mm -hmm. What's Why are you an Eagles fan? I mean, just like you said, I was the oddball in my neighborhood for wanting to be an Eagles fan. I bet. Yeah, for sure. Um, when I was younger, I had watched uh, the Giants play, obviously, the Jets play, but I was young and I was impressionable at the time, and I think any young kid could speak to the same fact and any adult could speak to the same fact yeah. that uh, for me, watching Terrell Owens, Donovan McNabb, Ooh. Brian Dawkins, uh, you know, uh, Brian Westbrook, you know, play out there and yes. do some amazing things and also to have one of my favorite players of all time, Terrell Owens, on the team, you know, uh, it just made me a fan. It made me a fan at the right time when I really was looking at football. I wanted to play football. They wouldn't allow me to play over there what do in you New mean? Jersey. They wouldn't allow me. They said I was too young for Pee Wee. Mm -hmm. I was too big for Pee Wee, but then I was too young for Pop Warner football. So I felt like this purgatory of not being able to play football. How tall were you as a Pee Wee? Ooh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, you were tall really early yeah, in life. I was tall right out the gate. Worked out for you, though. It did well. Being tall worked out. <laughs> yeah, it still is know, actually working thing, out for you. You know, hit your head on the, you know, the door or something like that. But right, for my job is pretty good. So you were falling in love with the Eagles right around when they were in that Super Bowl mm -hmm. against Tom Brady yep. and the Patriots. Absolutely, so that's twenty one years ago. I know. Don't mention it. No, no hey, I feel dude, old. that was my first year on NFL Network. Really? Or first full year on NFL Network, yeah. Hey, I'm trying so to get I mean, 20 years of service in NBA. You already got I'm the past 20. 20. I'm a past 20 for the That's NFL. That's a blessing right yes, there. No, no doubt about it. This Can season? we give him a, a, a clap yeah, for yeah, that? Come on, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's fire. Fire. You're a giver. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was, you know, the McNabb, T.O., yes. and yep. that's when... If we we learned things were not very hunky dory between the two of them. You but, know, uh, oh, that was the pinnacle. when I was young, I didn't really care. I just I know, to see right, it. I, know. <laughs> I know, but you love To. He was your guy. Oh, I love To. I actually ran into To uh, a couple of years ago. I watched him play uh, basketball at a men's league. I was just randomly coming through. I was, I was like, oh, we'll watch. And it was like cool to see like someone as a child. I he was such like an idol of mine. He was yes. such a 
he was bigger than life and to be able to see him play basketball the sport i play at this age now it was pretty cool to like have a full circle moment well because his his performance in that super bowl on that ankle yes he almost shouldn't have he should have played really now that i'm in the situation what he did in that super bowl is one of the greatest performances you can you can see for a receiver and and that's that's that. That's not an exaggeration. No, it did. was one of the best things I've ever seen. It and just because you knew New England was going to shut. That's the the vaunted Belichick mm-hmm. thing is taking away the one thing that you do best, you know. And he how, still how good it. is he as a coach? I mean, come on, no doubt about it. He's really good as a coach. No question. Shout about out to it. him and Tom, man. So, sure. uh, so Tio, but Tio, you know, definitely considers himself a hooper. That's for no, sure. he does. He does. He he was hooping too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I will say, I, I was at the game. I almost saw one of the craziest poster dunks I've ever seen in my life at that game. I wish it would have went in, but it didn't. But I can say. Back rim? Back oh, rim. it was. Kid jumped. He definitely had. He had it. He just missed it. He just dunked it too hard. Hit the back rim. Popped right back out. Went to half court. Mm-hmm. Rich, I'm telling you, that may have been one of the craziest dunks I would have seen on person. And, and the crazy part about all this, mm-hmm. T.O. was the one blocking it. He yeah. went up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so he would have been. Oh, oh my God! God. He was the one who would have been posted. If it would have happened, I would have felt part of my childhood would have just descended. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like gone. The the that would have been so bad. <laughs> when was the first time you dunked on someone? Ooh, uh, third grade. Third, don't say third grade. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would probably say. I don't remember exactly, but I know that I first started dunking like seventh grade. So Jeez. I would probably say eighth, ninth. I probably had finally got something. Like middle go. school games, you're just dunking in games. What? When did? When did? Yeah, in a way, he, he, he does. He wants to. He, he's, know, he's don't too be humble. humble. When was the first time somebody from college showed up, knocking on your door? Young. Right around then, seventh grade. Yeah, it was younger. I just I had younger. I had garnered national attention for playing basketball um i was part of a publication i think we all know you know scholastic kids yeah of course of course that's like the best thing when you're a kid that was like the magazine certainly while i was being uh scared out of my wits about what the dentist was going to find in my mouth i mean that's Mm -hmm. that was the that was the magazine that was a periodical of children's dental that was that was like the publication if you were a kid you were always looking for that publication locked in yes and i was a i had got cool to be on a have a story done and a cover done for it. Mm-hmm. So I was cool to be in school and be able to show all my classmates like, oh, we're going to read this <laughs> this cover story sure. about me. And I'm like young. And it, that happened, I think, at third grade. Yeah. So I had some attention. I had some hype. Um, but I think it's all shout out to my dad. I think my dad was selling me like a, like a blank CD with a deluxe version. He was telling everyone it had every song on it. So you're in middle school and colleges are knocking on the... The, I was uh, I was definitely getting interest. I definitely seen at some AAU games. I had saw some faces I was seeing on TV. So I didn't know if, if it was truly for me or not. Yeah. But um, I knew that I was having some sort of attention, to say the least. Carl Anthony Towns here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, give me your favorite Anthony Edwards story. <sighs> Come on now. Let's go. Recently or over time? Anytime. <laughs> Recently. Because we, I mean, every day I feel there's a new story that comes out. That means there's multiple. (laughs) Yeah, I think there's a new story that comes out. Clubhouse leader of your favorite Anthony Edwards story. Um, what do you have? Oof, I got a lot. That's the problem. I know. Um, Go through your mind. What's family is friendly. I I say I'm I'm gonna go yeah right. I gotta be the yeah friend family friendly (laughs) content. Whatever you got. Um, the only I would say recently I can't remember off the top of my head, but I say recently what was funny. Uh, I think we all saw about Ant with playing the ping pong game against Team USA ping pong. Yes. Yep. So we have our group chat, and I texted in our group chat. I said, look at this man, always talking about confidence, talking about he went from I'm going to beat him to that I'm going to get a point. I was like, what happened? <laughs> There's a huge discrepancy right here. Yeah. Yeah. Beating them and getting a point. Yeah. And I was just laughing. I was like, for a man who's super confident in himself, and I love every time that he sh- exuberates his confidence, mm-hmm. He damn sure took it back from winning the game <laughs> to getting the point. Well, let me, again, because I'm, I'm just surfing into this story, because obviously I didn't know you were going to tell it. I will just guess this. He that, doesn't get a point. No, no, no. Oh, I'll, okay. no, no I'll just guess okay, this, okay. that he definitely went to Paris 
thinking he could beat somebody. Oh, that he must for sure. have like you must have a ping pong table somewhere. Oh or, yeah, yeah. He's, no, he's he's like where he feels like he's, he's like that good. He's right? like the guy like on the road. He's he's the type of guy. who's like, come on, let's go find a a pool table and let's play pool. Yeah, and he want to play pool for hours. Yeah. Like just strictly just playing. Sure, pool. and I'm sure he's that way with ping pong or oh, whatever. Oh, he's he's that with any any type of sport, anything that has a, a competitive side to it. He yes. wants to play. So it makes sense. Yeah, I bet he went to Paris thinking he could definitely beat one of these guys. No, I think and he then, did. And then he went to Paris and laid eyes on him and goes, "I'm going to downgrade this to a point." I think so. I really think. I think that he went there with the confidence of like, man, I play ping pong just like these people. I, know, right? I can't say what he was. You know, I right, hey, I would right. go do this, man. I could go get a beat him easily. And then I think he saw them, saw you know the, the little polo U.S. little attire yeah, I mean, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Saw him hit a couple ping pongs. Was like, hell no, nah. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Right, like how they're serving with the with with the paddle, yeah, like nah. parallel over the floor, and, 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 and then, anyone and then they comes hit up to a ping pong table and does this with the ball like, I already stop. know I'm in trouble yeah. that's like getting in a fight with someone and they start stretching like you already know you in trouble you for sure in trouble pulling up the pants yeah, a little right? bit like those hey, pants remember, come up hey you remember um, um, that show Kevin Hart came on he was like the short dude he was getting at the girl he goes <clears throat> he does that. Oh man, what was it? My life a oh, It was a uh, real husband's of Hollywood. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh man, nah. You know you in trouble, man. It's like to fight you and start stretching. Right. You know it's over. You in a bad time. You might as well go get the ice packs ready for that. Oh my god. Yeah, but it, it does seem like he has just confidence. He did a, an interview his rookie year, mm-hmm. and he was saying how whatever it is, he's the best. And the interviewer was like, "Hockey." He goes, "Best at that." He goes, "Yeah." Throwing, he told this man throwing trash into the, the, you know, throwing paper into the trash. Did he he's say the best too? He was like, the, he would be like the best baseball player. And A Rod was right there, and they said, what, "So you're better than A Rod?" He says, "Who's A Rod?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guy who's, you know, <laughs> in the Timberwolves front oh. office or attempting. We'll see that. Right. Rich, I do remember there was a yeah. video of Ant. Uh, he was with his friends and he was throwing a football and he was. Oh, I mean, with Vando in the summer. He can. He, yep. can, he, he chucked the ball and Tom Brady Shout left out to the Jared comment. Vanderbilt too. Brady well, left a comment on it and he was like, look, I know that other sport p- plays well, but you should be playing football. Well, you. Yeah. Yeah. Brady said that to, to Ant. On the, on yeah, the, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't. Feed Listen it. to TB12. I love TB12. Go. TB12, man, stop playing with him, man. You know that NBA money coming through definitely these days, man. Stop That's what he it. goes. He, goes he did it right for his good, family. But... He did it right for the A. <laughs> oh, man. Because so, that was a whole conversation, right? Was that Austin Rivers who started that thing? about oh, about the football players, yeah. right? Football players. Yeah. And, and then I remember telling you, I, I, you ain't going to see me getting no medicine ball going down the middle on the post. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to see me doing that at all. Someone today told me... Uh, my trainer was like, uh, you could be wide receiver three. I said, Shh, I could possibly give you tight end two, maybe tight end three. Two. Yeah, there ain't no way I'm going to be doing that little yeah. medicine ball. It's a red, red zone. That's it. Heck no. I, I'm not going, nah. That's why when we was talking, I was like, man, he's, I, there's NBA players who could do NFL. I just don't know if there's the mentality can transfer over for the NFL. I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just two different sports, man. And, and, two and different then, physically. Also, and, of course. But, you know, and it, but it's also absurd to say, well, the NBA is not that physical compared to the NFL. No, no, yeah. Because it's not a foul in the NFL to hit somebody. I mean, for, I mean, imagine the, imagine the first five yards <laughs> for an NBA player as a wide receiver. <laughs> hell. You know what I mean? Like, straight honestly, hell. in the NBA, it is a foul yes. to connect with somebody physically. Hey, you know, listen. more often than not. Hey, at listen. least in theory it is, you know? Your breath too hot, it's a foul. There's a lot of different <laughs> That's what's types going of on right now. No, I don't know. This is fouls, fouls, man, in the NBA. So it's different. It's different than when I first came into the NBA, too. How is it different? Um... I feel like there was more leeway with the physicality. Mm-hmm. I think that, you know, they definitely tightened up on the rules and making sure things are handled rightly. I just think when I first came in, you know, I'm with KG and stuff, and you're with all these vets, Tim Duncan, Kobe, and you're just seeing the way they approach the foul game and everything. And yeah. It was pretty cool. It was different. It's just different. The game has evolved, though. So it's not even different in a bad way. It's just evolved in a different way. Just like when I first came in, we were talking about how awesome the mid-range three, the long two was. Mm-hmm. Now we just getting rid of the mid-range shot. It's kind of just threes or layups or free throws. Right. Those are like the golden uh, shots to take in NBA now. Did you have a welcome to the NBA moment with Kobe or anything like that? Or, or KG or any of those guys? <laughs> you, you know, it was weird because I didn't have a welcome moment, like you said, with Kobe. Uh, 
Happy birthday to him too. Yes. Um, I didn't have that welcome moment with Kobe because I had played Kobe already in high school when I played against the Dream Team V2 back in high school when it was him, Braun, uh, Kevin Love, you know, Tyson Chandler. I had played against someone in the Dominican Republic national team in right. Vegas. So I kind of had that moment already. Where I was like, wow, I'm on the court with Kobe Bryant and stuff, and you get to play and guard him. And I think when I first came into the NBA, I had such a mindset of, like, I wanted to impact the league mm-hmm. and show my worth and, you know, earn my spot and my respect. So I was so focused on that. I didn't really have that welcome to the NBA moment until later in the season when I finally slowed down a little bit and I'm looking at my jersey um, in Target Center and I'm like, wow, this really says Wolves 32 towns. Like I was finally understanding that I'm a real NBA player and this is not like a summer thing. You know, you play 25 games, let's just say that's a good summer of playing high level hoops. Right. This is a job. Like, you come here every day, you're playing 82 games. I'll be honest with you, man, because, again, you know, my, my job as interviewing is to ask the questions that I'm curious about and then listen to the answers. And, and when you said I played co- against Kobe in high school, I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. Kobe wasn't in high school when you were in high school. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I thought to myself, oh, God, you played against Kobe when you were in high yeah. school, and he was Kobe F. and Bryant. Yeah, no, for what sure the hell? he was. And with LeBron, too, and everybody. And you remember in that in – that, uh, in that Olympic trial, when they actually went to the Olympics, that we were at an exhibition game. He went to the Olympics. You remember Kobe hit the big shots. He's doing this to everyone. And it was really cool. It was cool to be able to, like, watch art be done by the artist in person, you know? Like, to be able to be on the court, having to study, yes. you know, what they do, and then, you know, wait for my moment to get in if I ever did. But it was... It was a surreal moment to be able to be on the court with these legends and to be able to be on the court with guys that... I've spent hours and hours studying and especially took time out of my day and, and made the sacrifice to ride bike to John F. Kennedy Library in Piscataway, New Jersey, use the computer access there, get the VHSs, rent them, get the books and just watch their moves and watch how they play the game of basketball and try to implement their style into my style and yes. also keep some of my own flavor there. So, um you know, you're young, and, and just to be in that aspect, that was the first time I felt like I could make the NBA. And if I had played these guys already now as a freshman in high school, if you gave me more time to mature, uh, work on my game, work on my craft, I, I thought I had a good chance. So, wait a minute. So, you're a ninth grader playing yeah, against Kobe Bryant? I was. I what had no facial hell? hair, Rich. I had <laughs> the short haircut. I got my haircut at Supercuts right before the game. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Crazy times. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll finish up the show with Carl Anthony Towns. Fantastic. (laughs) Unbelievable. Don't go anywhere. Carl Anthony Towns, tell me about the Covenant House in New Jersey and what you're doing with them and the Stray. Oh, yeah. It's an amazing thing to be able to partner up with Michael Strahan. Shout out to him, too. Great suits. Um, (laughs) Get it done. Um, To be able to partner up with them and, and give, you know, 15 people there at Covenant House the opportunity to have these amazing Michael Strahan suits and uh covenant house does so much and uh wanted to give them something where they could feel you know the swag they could feel yeah. impre- they could feel they could make an impression on people and, and improve their lives with that suit so um it was a huge honor to be able to do that okay and yeah so you're giving it's uh, donated 15 uh young men some suits in covenant house in new jersey mm-hmm. from stray yes and what what about the dual language documentary workshop? What's that? Real works? Yeah, real about? works. It's it's really cool. So to be able to, you know, for me, I think we all agree. I, I explained I'm Dominican at this point. So there we go. Um, I've been able to partner up with real works to be able to provide the resources and uh, especially the connections needed for these kids who are young, the next great filmmakers of our country and in the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, be able to give them the resources and, and the connections they need to make these movies to the best of their ability. And I mean, I've one of them already won an award. So uh, to be awesome. able to have, yeah, to be able to have fellow students of Real Works and come back and teach the next generation. And also while they're making their own work and to see the next generation make some amazing, amazing movies coming out. I can't wait for everyone to watch it. Over 20 million viewers worldwide of Real Works since 2001. Check out all the works. Uh, it's a Brooklyn based organization. Yep. Uh, realworks.org mm-hmm. for for all of that. And the Covenant House in New Jersey, that's pretty cool, man. 
And then, I, of course, your commitment to social justice is second and none, certainly. Um, it. Just yeah. in, in life, forget about just an association and in, 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 in sports as well. Carl Anthony Towns here on the program, back on the Rich Eisen Show. We're still with Carl Anthony Towns. Going to wrap up the show in about uh, eight, nine minutes' time. We just talked uh, on the Roku Sports Channel only segment that uh, you've donated some uh, Michael Strahan clothing brand suits to 15 young men of Covenant House in New Jersey. Um, is Michael Strahan aware that you are a Philadelphia Eagles fan, Carl Anthony Towns? I think the world's aware. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, okay, but I, that's I, fine. I, I but, will say, yeah. I am the guy who wore Eagles shoes playing for the Timberwolves in a Timberwolves game mm-hmm. and got booed every time I touched the ball in Minnesota. That's oh. hard to do. Wow. That's a lot of hatred for the Eagles. <laughs> well, I also thought maybe, you know, um, they might have been booing you in Philadelphia because you were wearing Minnesota Timberwolves No, I was in clothes. Minnesota. Okay. I was in Target. I thought that you were, okay, that's oh, what yeah. you're saying. But so, home. Home so, game. Home game. You're wearing Eagles shoes. And you're yes. being booed. You're booed. They yeah. sell your jersey at the team store. Hey, we won the Super Bowl that year. It was worth it at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it at the end of the day. So I imagine you were, let me just put this together. You were at the Super Bowl in Minnesota watching the Philadelphia Eagles I was, win I was. In- I was with uh, my father. I took my mother with me. She got to watch my team win a Super Bowl, oh, get dope. to experience that. Um, I've. I've never had so much excitement. I I don't get to be a fan much. Right. You know, I'm always the player. Mm-hmm. So it was really cool to take a step back and be completely just the That's fan. Cool. And I you never got that experience. Even to this day, I'm a big Eagles fan, but I've still never been to an Eagles game in Philly. I've always oh. had to watch from far because I'm always working. I'm always, you know, playing basketball. Sure. Right. Things don't work out. Yeah, Schedules don't work out. Don't align, correct. Yeah, so for me to actually be at my first Eagles game, in the Super Bowl, in Minnesota, against the greatest of all time, and to find a way to come out with a win with our backup quarterback? Come on, man. Yeah. When I saw Nick Foles retired, well, I had to put a tweet up. Uh, I, uh, by the way, we, we had a whole segment <laughs> on him because of what right a career. There. What a career he had. I know. Career. I know. An amazing career. Super Bowl MVP. Well, in terms of just being a fan, Carl Anthony Towns, we're going to give you that opportunity. Oh, God. Because here on the Rich Eisen Show, we play – a game called the win-loss game, where we give a fan an opportunity to go game by game, Mm -hmm. break it down, whether it's going to be a win or a loss, and that's how we find out what their final record is going to be. Are we saying we're all staying healthy the rest the whole year? This is all, yes, of course. This is all things being, if you will, equal. God is good. The Philadelphia Eagles win-loss game with Carl Anthony Towns. No Kelsey this year. Shout out to a legend. That's, of course, and and Fletcher Cox as well. Yes. And we're using NFL Films Music, speaking of another New Jersey finest. (laughs) Here we go. go, Just to get you in the mood. Oh. Carl Anthony Towns. Okay. The opener against the Green Bay Packers in Brazil. What happens with your Eagles? I think we could find a way to win that game. All right. I think we'll all be healthy and we'll have a good this week the rest up i think we'll be all right then week two home for the falcons on a monday night i love our chances at home so that's two and oh i would like to believe at the new orleans saints you might you know measure for drapes hey, there you're asking the wrong that's... person because i may go 17 and oh that's, 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 that's fine that's fine <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Uh, new orleans is where the super bowl takes place so maybe you could matt you know measure for drapes you know <laughs> measure get, right get, so you can <laughs> move yeah, exactly uh, at the saints what happens I think it'll be a tough game. I think anytime you get to play over there at Mercedes-Benz, I, th- I think it's a tough, tough game. I I think we're a tough team, though. Okay. We got a right quarterback. Three we got no. Saquon, too. Ooh. Come on. Shout out to my homie. So. Okay. <laughs> at Tampa, what happens next at Tampa? Baker Mayfield and them is... It, it depends. If we can stop the aerial assault with him yeah. and Mike Evans, yeah, I think yeah. we got a, a good chance. Godwin, too. So I think that if we could find a way to cap that kind of passing attack yeah i think we'll have a chance to win four and oh wow into the bye out of the bye home for the cleveland browns what happens carl anthony Towns? i think the browns are gonna be good this year but or yes I, <laughs> you think the browns again are- I, i'm gonna always go with my eagles but i i well, just think that the browns are gonna be really good this year i think that deshaun watson's gonna actually have time now with this team so i feel that like they should make a step forward i i still like us especially at home okay five and oh yo saquon back at the giants Saquon may go for 500 yards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a win. <laughs> if, if you lose getting 500 yards, that's that's tough. All right, so the Eagles are 6-0 and at the Bengals, at Joe Burrow's Ooh. Bengals. What happens there? 
Joe Burrow healthy is a scary thing. So, um, I think it's a close one. I think we win by field goal. Okay. Ooh. Home for the Jaguars. Doug Peterson back in the house. Shout out, man. Shout out to the, to the skip. Uh, yeah. What do you got? What do you think? I got us, of course. Okay. Eight and <laughs> oh. Hey, the, don't, just go to week 11. No, Ten's what? a win. At, <laughs> ten ah, win. They're at the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys the town. Someone, just, someone had a whole argument. My barber had a whole argument with me about the Cowboys. He was talking about how many Super Bowls. He said, you're, you're, so when was the next time you're going to win another one? I said, so you're going to bring up something your daddy wa- saw you win? <laughs> why, why not? Come on. They still, they, they, they still count no matter how many years. No, for sure. But, like, you, know? you didn't get to watch it. I was laughing for four of them. I had three I saw. You are one amazing. Back home against the Washington <laughs> Commanders. Five, five to one. That's what I'm five saying. Five to one. Five to one. General Patton said, I got to see it. I need to see it. Wins. You can't say you saw Super Bowls and they ain't happening in front of you. Nine and zero, home for the Commanders. I'm very excited to see Jaden da- Daniels play. So, but I think we got that one. And that's and the day for my birthday too. So that would be a great birthday present. <laughs> oh, happy birthday in advance. Ten and zero here at the Rams. Ooh. I may not be able to come back to LA, but we're gonna go with the Eagles again. All right, oh, eleven and zero what? at the Ravens. I'm sorry, man. I gotta go with the Eagles. Man. At the Ravens, though. Ooh. This may hurt you, Mark. I may have to say that uh, who at Baltimore. Yeah, Derrick Henry in that. Ooh, I'm a big fan of Lamar Jackson. I, I'm telling you, my my biggest thing, I'd probably say my greatest strength yeah. and my worst trait is my loyalty. I'm going to go with the <laughs> Eagles again. Home for the Panthers. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Eagles. Oh, oh. Home for the Steelers. <laughs> hey, just mark it down. Even the Super Bowl. I'm going to say they're going to win it, too, while we at it. <laughs> All right. So, P- home Pittsburgh. P- hey. Washington. If there's one man I know who refuses to lose, it's Mike Tomlin. <laughs> so, I... That's a tough one, but I'm still go with us. At the Commanders, you, su- you sweep <laughs> You see where we're going with this, right? Home the for Rich the Cowboys. Cowboys. Come on, Cap. Be for real now. <laughs> Dak what is you not, think? Dak is nine and four against the Eagles. His last thirteen. I don't think nothing wrong with Dak. So, I just so you so to, to sweep us. I don't know. You, hey, don't, this, you don't know. This is, this is you picking. This ain't me. You already know my answer. I just <laughs> want to know what your answer is. I already committed so, to my answer. And then home for the Giants. Hey, that's another word. Seventeen and zero. Jalen Hurts may have the most sponsorships in NFL history by the end of the season if this goes this way. <laughs> Anthony Town. Seventeen and zero. So that's <laughs> super, super, super seventeen and zero. Yeah, I have to say that because like, the last team I seen go seventeen and zero, they didn't win it. So oh, I, I would like Brockman. to have a different outcome than that. There you go. <laughs> so, okay. There you go. Am I wrong? Or am I right? No, I mean, it's, well, that nah. is true. And you know, I saw them go seventeen and zero. Oh, work? Yeah, but they didn't. Get you know, that. like you know how the Cowboys won. You didn't see that. Oh wow! I saw them go seventeen and zero. I am loving TJ yeah. getting like NBA levels. I am politically correct. I came to talk football. And I'm saying no, rich, I've man. seen three Super, Super Bowls, so I'm good. NBA know? level That's smoke. Oh, hey, fantastic! I just know that. I was able to see in Minnesota them win the Super Bowl. That's true, you did. Go on the field, lose my car keys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Walk back to the car, have no car keys. Mom's freezing. It was freezing cold. out in so Minnesota. Cold. Oh, we were cold. there. It was so we bad. There. It was oh, so it was cold. car keys <laughs> on the field. My dad walked back to the stadium, went on the field, said, I can't find him. I didn't even drink. Just fantastic. We're back here a few minutes oh left. God, that's a couple great. seconds left with the Carl Anthony Town. So just to repeat, you've never seen an Eagles game in person. No. Nope. You go to the Super Bowl yes. Super and you watch them win. That's the first game in person you yes, ever sir. saw. You go on the field to mm-hmm. celebrate. Yes. You lose your car keys. Yes. You do not realize you've lost your car keys nope. until you get to the car in freezing cold weather where your mom is freezing. Yes. Your father says, I'll go back to the stadium and look yes. for the keys. No he gains entry back Dad to the moves. stadium. Yes. Dad he gets moves. on the field again. Yes. And then he's sifting through the keys, looking for keys on confetti the ground amongst does all the not green find and white. Keys. Pe- confetti. confetti. Confetti that's on the yes. field? Yeah, no way. These are all facts. Yes. And, and he calls you up like, can't find the keys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what happened? Did I it? had a spare at the house, and we had people at the house that couldn't go to the game. But they watched the game there, so, so we they, had someone drive, drive my spare key <laughs> over. With the traffic all around the stadium? Oh, my God. <laughs> we got to do what we got to do. What time did you get home? What time did you get home? 3.30. 
They're going opposite I don't remember, track. but I knew we won the Super Bowl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee that. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Like I said, I didn't even drink. <laughs> and I would have thought I was drunk losing the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody ever find the keys? No, those keys are darn no, in no. <laughs> Someone got some Range Rover keys and yeah. took them with them. And they and took Carl the Range Rover keys and I left with the Lombardi trophy. Oh. We was all going home. <laughs> Until one day you go home and the Range is gone and like, oh, they yeah, found the keys. Exactly. Oh my God. What a story. <laughs> wow. oh, the town, man. Somebody oh find this man's keys. <laughs> <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.